One fun and clever way to hide candy and lipstick is by using a lip gloss container. Take your favorite piece of candy and wrap it tightly in a piece of cellophane or clear plastic wrap. Next, carefully place the wrapped candy into the center of the lip gloss tube, making sure it's securely sealed inside. Finally, replace the cap on the lip gloss and screw it on tightly. Now, when you want to share this special treat with a friend, simply give them the lip gloss and instruct them to unscrew the cap and carefully remove the outer layer of the gloss. If you're looking for a way to hide a packet of chips behind a broken arm, here's one creative idea. Make sure the packet of chips is small enough to fit comfortably behind your arm. Then, position your arm in a way that makes it look as if it's injured or in a sling. Wear a shirt or jacket that has a pocket or a loose sleeve. This will provide a hiding spot for the chips packet. Place the packet of chips in the pocket or behind the loose sleeve of your shirt or jacket. Make sure it's secure and won't fall out easily. To melt marmalade in poppet form, you'll need a microwave-safe toy and a microwave. Place the marmalade in poppet toy and heat the marmalade in the microwave for 10 to 20 seconds at a time. Stir them gently with a fork or spoon after each heating period to ensure even melting. Carefully remove the melted marmalade from the microwave and allow it to cool for a few moments before handling. Your marmalade poppet is ready! Decorating shoes with edible candy is a fun and delicious way to add some personal flair to your footwear and sneak your candies. Choose a clean pair of shoes that you want to decorate. Pick your favorite candies or candy melts in a variety of colors and shapes. Food safe glue or hot glue gun. This will help secure the candies in place. All right, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Time for me to be sneaky for a snack. Just gonna remove my wireless earbuds and now to add some chocolate. Ooh, that looks so sweet and chocolatey and gooey and good. Now I'll just give it a little bit of a shake. Now that it's dried, I can take them out. Ta-da! Chocolate earbuds. Mmm. They're delicious. This is the best idea I've had in a long time. But shh. Aw, oh, man. I'm so hungry, but I'm stuck in dumb detention. Stupid being tardy and getting punished for it. All right, that's it. I need to eat something right now. I've got this packet of cookies. There's got to be something I can eat in here. Crumbs are good enough. Come on now. Into my mouth you go. Wait, that's it? Shoot. There's got to be something else I can snack on. Maybe back here? Yes! I knew it! I had a piece of candy stuck back there! Oh, yes! This is exactly what I needed. Well, that was good, but I'm still hungry. Sir? Hello? Teacher, sir? Can I go to the bathroom? That's a big no. You're here for punishment. But I did! Look at how many lines I've written! Not enough. Keep writing. I can't believe he's just sitting up there watching me. Oh, he's distracted. Now's my chance to make a quick call. David, I'm stuck in detention and I'm absolutely starving. I need your help. Seriously? You want me to see if I can do something? Huh? Hey, time to sneak in some snacks. Okay, let's see. There's a teacher sitting at his desk. Oh my gosh, no way, it's David. Hey, I'm over here. Hey, Madison, I've got you covered. Just wait. Okay, I've got this skateboard. Time to trick it out with some snacks. All I gotta do is add some tape to these bags and then stick them to the board. Then I'll just load it up with all the delicious goodies. Now I have to deliver this to Madison so she stops starving. <laughs> Take a look at this awesomeness! I'm a genius! Okay, just gotta set this down and send it over to her. Oh my gosh! He's sending me a skateboard! I got it! Now let's see what he sent me. Yes! He totally came through! Look at all these amazing snacks! Oh my gosh, they smell so good! Yes! He didn't even notice! Wow, they really <laughs> don't like paw prints around here. <laughs> Congratulations! It's a Pokeball! Right this way. Now take a seat. <laughs> I choose you, Pikachu! Aww. <laughs> this kitty knows how to beat the Monday Blues. Let's see a movie. He did pay for the tickets. I've heard of cats and hats and puss and boots, but pants? Pants? 
<laughs> I gotta see this. Try not to sit down. Hey, it worked. I wonder if this works for snacks, too. Duh, busted. And to think he stopped shaving for this? But maybe, instead of hiding food in your beard, you hide your food as your beard. Remember, it'll work better if it matches the hair on top. Ah, whipped cream. Looks like shaving cream, but far more delicious. <laughs> Try belting out some ho-ho-hos for good measure. Of course, you just can't top sneaking in with a fall guy. Works every time. Maybe sharing with the bouncer will sweeten them up. Well, that wasn't very nice. Don't worry, cheese puffs. With a little elbow grease, you're a fetching new chain. It just needs a little something. Good idea, candy string. Just keep them safe under your cap. And give yourself some new highlights. Or better yet, give yourself a whole new do. Almost time to start clubbing, but first. It worked! Go right on in! Now for a little victory nibble. Making a chocolate bar in the shape of a smartphone can be a fun and delicious DIY project. Melt the chocolate. Stir constantly until the mixture is smooth and well combined. Once the chocolate mixture has cooled slightly, pour it into the molds. Refrigerate your chocolate smartphone and use for fun. To disguise gummy worms as regular worms, you can use a few simple steps. First, you'll need to peel the gummy worms to reveal their translucent color. Then, use a food coloring pen or gel to draw small, irregular lines on the worms. You can make the lines in various shades of green to give them a more realistic appearance. Once the coloring has dried, gently rub chocolate powder onto the worms to make them look dirty and worn. This will help them blend in with their surroundings, making them appear more like regular earthworms. Eat these worms right in class in front of the teacher. To smuggle Coca-Cola into the hospital in huge syringes, you'll need to have a plan. Gather your team. Enlist the help of trusted friends or colleagues who can assist you in this operation. You'll need someone to act as a lookout. Someone to distract the nurses and security staff. You'll need to find a way to get your hands on large syringes that can hold the necessary amount of Coca-Cola. Deliver the syringes to the patient. Once you're inside the hospital, navigate your way to the patient's room using your knowledge of the hospital layout. Be prepared to deal with any obstacles or challenges that may arise along the way. Dispose of the evidence. After the deed is done, you'll need to get rid of the empty syringes and any other evidence that could implicate you in the smuggling operation. Everything looks good. Go in and enjoy the movie. Hey, I'm here for the movie. Here's my movie ticket. But I'll need to see what's in your bag. Ugh, are you serious? Okay, here, I'll dump it out. That's it. That's all I've got on me. What? Look at all that candy. I'm definitely confiscating that. Meanie. Ugh, I'm just doing my job. Aw, oh, man. That security guard is going all out on the food searches. Maybe there's something I can do about this, though. Yes, of course! I can use my makeup! That's always the solution. 
Okay, first I need to actually get rid of the actual makeup. And now I've got my box of juice. I'm definitely gonna need juice. So I'll draw some up with the syringe. Okay, that should be enough. Now I can just add this to the lip gloss container. Just gotta fill this whole thing up as much as possible. There! And now I can just return the cap to it. Gotta definitely close it tightly. I don't want it to leak in my bag. All right! No way he'll be able to tell that this isn't makeup! Look! I can apply it to my lips and it's delicious! All right! Time to go see this movie! Oh! Stop right there! I know you'll want to look inside my bag. Don't worry, I'll take everything out so you can see. Yep, I had a bunch of snacks. You can take them all. Into the trash they go! Bye-bye! Oh, but this is my makeup. That's okay for me to keep, right? I just need it to keep my lips moistened. I really don't care about your makeup. Go in! Great, thank you! Have a good rest of the night. Huh. That was kind of a strange encounter. Yes! I made it inside the theater with my juice! Speaking of which, I definitely need a taste of it right now. Spit it out. Yes, you Ew. did bring enough for the whole class. We need to think outside the box for this one. Ooh. Take a cupcake and crumble it up. For that perfect soil look, we'll need some worms. But to keep them edible, let's make them cola-flavored. These straws really help give them a nice, wormy texture. Throw on some fake plants for good measure. It worked. Let's just hope this isn't botany class. Anyone in the mood for a 4th of July ice pop? Who says chocolate can't give you a six pack? And she didn't even do a single sit up. I think we've earned some confiscated candy. Uh, sort of. And we've got the perfect place to hide them. These new glutes go great with your abs. Time to pump iron and stay out of the sun. This case can do more than just hold ear pods. Pour on some melted chocolate and let it harden. Make like it's your birthday and start blowing. Talk about making a chocolate shake. Now we've got chocolate headphones. Hmm. Guess our lollipop mm -hmm. didn't pass inspection. Just as planned, the teacher's none the wiser. <laughs> to disguise candy as an eyeshadow palette, you can create a customizable palette case that doubles as a fun and unique makeup accessory. Choose a candy shape. You can use any type of candy that has a flat surface, like a chocolate bar, lollipop, or hard candy. If you'd like to create a multicolored palette, you can choose a variety of candies with different colors. Take an empty eyeshadow palette or a small flat box and cover it with colored paper, stickers, or even some candy wrappers to give it a fun and playful look. You can also draw designs or add embellishments to make it more personalized. Add a mirror and applicator. For a more functional makeup palette, add a small mirror to the inside of the case and include a small clean spoon or makeup brush as an applicator. To discreetly bring chips to the hospital without raising suspicion, you could always hide them in a package of wet wipes. Purchase a large package of wet wipes, preferably the kind that comes in a cardboard box. Carefully remove the wipes from each packet and set them aside in a separate container. Place the chips inside the empty wet wipe packets, making sure they fit snugly inside. Refill the containers with the removed wet wipes. When you're ready to deliver the package to the hospital, hand it over to the staff. Hold it right there. This party has a no food or drinks rule. Oh no! He just sent that guy away for food! What am I gonna do about my candy? I'll just eat it all right now. Mm, so good! Oh, I can hide some in here. Up the sleeves and in the socks. Okay, that should work. Time to get into that party. 
Hmm, let me see. You got any food or drink on you? Are you kidding me with that? I can see your candy! Candy? These are just part of my luau outfit! Go on, get out of here! Ugh, why didn't you believe me? Hey, wait a second. Maybe the lei can help me, though. Okay, I'll start by snipping the lei right here. There. And now I can start taking it apart. So long, flowers! There we go. That's the last one. Now I have the string for the lei. I'll just spread it out so it's nice and long and straight. And now, of course, it's time to introduce the candy strips. I'll just line them up along the string like this. Yep. And now I can just repeat it all along the string. Look at all that candy! Delish! Time to flip these ends underneath. I need them to be ribbons that more or less hang on the string. Okay, let's add even more of them. Candy is the best! And then, of course, I have to bring the flowers back. So it's believable as the lay. Also, they're pretty, too. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Let me check it out. Yes, it turned into a really cute skirt! I'm so clever! Hey, can I go into the party now? Huh, you were the girl from before. Let me take a closer look at you. Hmm. Okay, you look great. The first limbo! Go on under, you can do it! Yay, that was fun! Oh my gosh, that was so hard. I need some candy to get my energy back up. <laughs> he has no clue. Delicious! And now I have energy to party the night away! Party, party, party! Ouch! Hey, how'd yeah. you get in here? This isn't the place to have M&Ms on hand. Huh. Add the brown ones to a cage. Now add a pet inside. You know, it's kind of a good thing food's not allowed in here. Otherwise, that librarian would be tossing cookies right about now. It looks like you need a little more height to enter. <laughs> and your little cola isn't too welcome either. It's time to start stepping. No, really, we're making platform shoes. That should take care of both your problems. Step right in. Careful, this guy's on the case. He's investigating from the ground up. Oh no! Just think of all that poor, wasted candy. Quick, sneak in while the guard's distracted. Well, that's one way to cut up a watermelon. Hurry, eat it all before anyone sees it. Here's an idea. Wear some big tape rolls like bracelets. Hide some candy underneath, as much as you can. Now cover it up with cotton, like a cast. And why stop at just the arm? If anyone asks, it's been a bad week for her. But things are about to get a lot sweeter. What a great performance! If she knew there's no candy in jail, she'd never have jaywalked. Luckily, someone brought her a toy car in a cake. Everyone's always getting their snacks delivered these days. Good thing we've got a cat on the outside, too. Now let's put those strong teeth to good use. And carve yourself a skeleton key. Carrying candy in a soft toy can be a fun and discreet way to enjoy your treats while on the go. Choose the right soft toy. Pick a soft toy that has a spacious compartment or pocket that can fit your desired amount of candy. A larger toy like a stuffed animal or a plush blanket would work best. Be discreet. When carrying the soft toy with candy, be mindful of your surroundings and body language. Avoid looking around suspiciously or fidgeting with the toy excessively. Choose the right pet carrier. Ensure that the pet carrier you choose is large enough to accommodate the sweets without spilling or crushing them. Prepare the sweets. Decide on the type of sweets you'd like to bring. 
place the portion sweets into the pet carrier, making sure they're secure and won't move around during transport. You can use small containers or baggies to keep them organized. If the carrier has removable trays or compartments, you can use them to separate the sweets into individual sections. Filling an aquarium with soda and jelly balls can be a fun and visually striking project. Gather your supplies. An empty aquarium, a bottle of soda, jelly balls. You'll need enough to cover the bottom of the aquarium. But the exact number will depend on the size of the aquarium and the size of the jelly balls. Decorations. Optional. But you can add some floating or submersible decorations to make the aquarium more interesting. Fill the aquarium. Add jelly balls. Add water and decorations. Wait for the fizz to subside. Give the aquarium some time to settle. The fizzing should stop within a few minutes. Oh, what a curious idea! A marshmallow headband, you say? Well, we certainly need to try my hand at crafting one. Here's what you'd need. A long, thick marshmallow about six inches in length, a pair of scissors, a piece of string or yarn about two feet long. All right, this tea is gonna be great. Ooh, while I'm waiting for it to steep… Hey, David! What? I want something to drink too, please! Oh, okay, sure. Oh, there's some hot chocolate mix in here. Yum! Candy! Candy is the best! Yeah, let me grab this down. Hey, what the heck? You ate all the candy! Come on, hand that over right now! I'm serious! Give that to me right this second! I'm not joking! Ugh, I'm so mad at you right now! But… Candy! Ugh, fine. Take it back if it means that much to you. Yay! Thanks, David! Well, great. Now I don't have any candy to eat. Okay, I don't see her anywhere. I can just sneak right in. Now to grab my bag of gummy worms that I stashed away here. Yes! I love gummy candy so much! They're my favorite! Hi, David! Can I have some gummy worms, please? Oh, just take the whole bag then. She took it, but that was part of my plan. Because while she's eating those, I've got my even secreter hidden stash. I took a tube of toothpaste and just squeezed it all out. Ooh, look at that gel. Okay, the tube is empty. I'll just ditch the toothpaste. And now to bring back my gummy worms. I'll just slide them into the tube. They're a perfect fit. Now I'll just put the cap back on to finish the disguise. And now that I want a gummy worm to eat, I've got one ready to go. Yes! I can't wait to chew this gummy deliciousness! Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Ugh, I'm really hungry all of a sudden. Wait, my pencil, of course! What if it's actually candy? Yes, I'm gonna eat the heck out of this! Huh? What is he even doing over there? David, stop! Huh? What? You want some? Do I want some pencil? Pencil? Oh, right. I was just imagining that it was food. Oh, David! Here, let me show you how my pencil is different. I started out with some chocolate, naturally. Then I put it on a spoon and grabbed my hair dryer. It was time to melt that chocolate down. And then I needed my pencil. Erasers are easy enough to remove. I added a little tube over the end of that pencil. That way, I could just pour the melted chocolate inside. Ooh, look at that! It looks so good! But I need it to dry and set. Ta-da! A chocolate eraser on my pencil! Did you follow all of that? I hope so. Here, you can have this. Whoa, no way! Thanks, Madison, you're awesome! Mmm, that's so good. It really hits the spot, too! David, no, stop! The rest of it is just a regular pencil! Right, I forgot again. My bad. Which of these foods do you want to eat the most? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, like, and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one! Good thing you filled up on candy. <laughs> don't worry, our friendly neighborhood janitor's here to help. And if you want something to wash it down with, don't worry. He's got you covered. Strange. It's not your birthday. Eh, let's open it anyway. Looks like we still need to cut the wrapper. Wow. They really go all out for the gender reveal parties. 
And these silicone bellies sure are getting popular. <laughs> Never pay those museum cafe prices again. Now, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Told you shop was more fun <laughs> than band class. Mm -hmm. Especially when you can hide all sorts of snacks. Just take one wafer, grind it up into shavings. Why don't you try a handful? Also works with coconut. Probably should get back to woodworking. Eh, who needs furniture when you've got chocolate mushrooms? She doesn't look too happy. Is gum really a food? After all, you don't really eat it. Of course, you don't normally wear it either. But that's not gonna stop her now, is it? Let's add some candy buttons. Get it? Wow, she really likes your perfume. Mm -hmm. We're in! Why not take a nibble? sneaky exceptional stuff. Catch you next time. First, you'll want to shape the marshmallow into a loop. You can either fold it in half and press the ends together, or cut a V-shape into one end and wrap the other end around it. Once you have the loop formed, tie the string or yarn tightly around the base of the marshmallow, securing it in place. Hiding candy in a travel pillow can be a fun and clever way to surprise your loved ones while they're on the go. Choose the right travel pillow. Make sure you have a travel pillow that is easy to open and has enough space inside to hide your candy. Look for one with a zipper, Velcro, or a removable cover. Create a hiding spot. Once you've identified the perfect spot inside the travel pillow, Carefully remove any pillow stuffing or inserts to create a hidden compartment. Gently insert the candy pieces into the hiding spot you've created. Be careful not to make it too obvious or leave any evidence behind. Reassemble the pillow. Once you've hidden the candy, carefully put the pillow stuffing and inserts back in place. Make sure everything looks neat and tidy. Gym. Said no one ever. But if you know how to sneak in some tasty snacks, working out will get a lot easier. Trust us. Alright! Time to get those legs moving! And that blood pumping! You're doing great, guys! Let's keep that heart rate up! Just 30 more minutes! You wanna see results, don't you? Oh, I'm exhausted already. He won't even notice I stopped. Lily, what's our rule about the gum? Oh, I guess he is paying attention. You can get it back later. But now, let's tighten those waists. I gotta be quick with this one. Good thing I brought extra. Mm-hmm, I feel the burn. And this bubble coming on! Just my exercise ball, see? I think you're onto something here! Great thinking, Lily! And one, two, three, woohoo! Let's go, defense! Let's go! Get that Yay! ball and let's score! Go! 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 Hey! Want some of my candy? No! Didn't you read the sign? No food allowed. Rules are rules. <laughs> They're gonna score! <laughs> what do we have here today? Whoa! I'm so busted! Who eats that much candy? Please don't call my parents! Uh-oh. 
I'm seeing stars! But I also see a great idea! Oh yeah! See ya! Get a basketball. And cut it with a blade here. See all that empty space? Let's fill her up! You can sure fit a lot in there! Ooh! Got my ball, see? Hey, feeling better? What? That's incredible! My favorite! The game's way more fun this way! Mmm! Uh-oh! Hide it! Just watching the game, coach! Okay… Foul!